I'm Caitlin Matson, and this is The Green Room. Uh, Dr. Jamie Knight from Friends University, Dr. James Knight. <laughs> you know, I got used to calling you Jamie because um, that's that's how I first learned you as through your oh, yes. email signature. So if I say Jamie instead of James, interrupt nope. me. No problem. I'm I'm known by both. So, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. James Knight from Friends University, one of the faculty members uh, of piano, and they have a very special day coming up here in a couple of months. Um, Sati day, Saturday, but Sati day, um, a day of Eric Sati. Tell us uh, what is this about? Well, this is a an event um, honoring Eric Sati. Um, Basically, the, the main focus of the day is a performance of uh, Satie's piano piece called Vexations. And um, this is a Kansas premiere of this work. So it's a really historical event um, for us to present this um, all over the city of Wichita. Um, this piece is a very short piece, actually, in terms of notes. It's just a page long. It's very simple. The only thing is it's uh, required to be performed 840 times. So this kind of speaks to the personality of Sati. <laughs> and um, so we are um, wanting people to sign up uh, to be um, part of this performance. Because for as you can imagine, for one person, it usually takes about in between 18 hours to 20 some hours to perform. It's the longest piano piece ever written. And um, we're desperately needing people to come and play because we don't want to play that long. So if any of you um, listening would like to be a part of this, um, you can uh, sign up at friends.edu forward slash sati, and you will find a um, registration form with the sheet music there. So you can look at it and say, well, you know, can I play this? But I guarantee you, you can because it's it's not hard at all. And um, and then so that that would be a wonderful um, time for you to be a part of this historic event. So uh, are you you're hoping that everybody comes to one venue? Well, actually, friends actually, and plays in succession for hours on end. Well, actually, we're going to have a few venues. Uh, it's going to be at uh, City Arts, the Wichita Art Museum, Exploration Place, uh, the Sedgwick County Zoo and Mark Arts. So that's actually where the performances are going to be. So if you sign up, we will find a place for you at one of these venues. And since it is so long and not all of the businesses are going to be open, of course, that late, um, a lot of these will be running concurrently. So we will get 840 um, performances in or repetitions in. It just will not be absolutely back to back. So this is amazing i think this sounds like such a wonderful time so the sheet music this particular piece would you say if you're somebody who you know has a good few years of piano lessons under your belt maybe you took a piece to contest in high school do you think you'd be able to to pick it up relatively fast absolutely it's it's marked very slow as a tempo marking and um it's it's very easy to read in fact some of my piano students here at school i use the piece for sight reading exercise. So it's it's not at all hard to play. You do not need a, a virtuoso technique to play it. Uh, just just the patience to um, repeat it a few times. So I love the collaborative nature of this and what a wonderful way to get the community involved. So if any of you out there, if you are a pianist and you can be an amateur pianist, you love to play, you read the music, you think you could do this, Contact Dr. Knight. Uh, and what was that email address again? It is friends.edu uh, forward slash sati. There is a web page dedicated to this event at the Friends University website. So you can find out that information. Yeah. Uh, so Eric Sati, he is known for being quite a character, quirky, unique. He walked around yes. in wild costumes. He did crazy things, just... just he, you you want to be his friend. You want to sit yes. with him for 30 minutes and have a conversation. Yes, you do. It would be a very interesting conversation as well, I can imagine. Yes, he when he died his in his apartment, they found three more than 300 umbrellas because he would not be found anywhere in public without an umbrella, rain or shine, bowler hat, um, the monocle. Um, and then he only ate white food, interestingly <laughs> enough. So wonderfully in, weird. It, 
Yeah, he was wonderful. So in our finale concert that we're going to have at Friends University, an alumni auditorium at 730, we're going to have a reception of only white food so that you can be part of this whole feeling of being in Sati's world. Um, but this will be a concert that Dr. Nathaniel May, who's the, our department chair, and myself uh, will be um, performing pieces of Sati, pieces that you probably will know more, like the Nocien or um, the Gemnopédie, um, as well as other pieces written in 1893 when this piece was written. So if you're interested, um, you can find that um, information at um, friends.edu forward slash fine arts tickets. And the tickets for that will be for adults $12 and for seniors and students $8. So that's part of the whole event is at the end to say, well, you know, that piece was very odd and strange and wonderfully quirky. But here's some other sati or other pieces at the time that you may be amazed were written at this time, at you know, the same um, part of history. So we're going to listen to what what is sati's most well-known work. The very first movement of a trois gemnopédie. Um, this is something that people will have heard scattered throughout pop culture, movies, film, commercials, um, and it is orchestrated. And also there's a version for solo piano. We're going to hear the solo piano version and be back to talk more about Sati Day, which is May 18th, 2024. Plenty of time for you to sign up to volunteer to play the piano and get that sheet music and start practicing. We'll be right back with Dr. Knight. Toi, j'aime no pidi. That was number one. The most popular piece by composer Eric Satie. Eric Satie, he is really known to have just gone headfirst into the avant garde, the quirky, uh, the unique. And Friends University is going to celebrate this marvelous human being with a uh, Kansas premiere of his work, Vexations. It is a work for solo piano that Eric Satie asks be performed how many times in a 800. row? 840 times. 840 times in a row. So it's a short melody mm -hmm. performed 840 times. And in order to reach 840, Friends University it has arranged a sati day throughout the city of Wichita, May the 18th. They are asking the public to sign up as volunteers. If you are a pianist, um, you can sign up to perform vexations for how long like a half hour at a time less than that an depending, hour? On, depending on how many people sign up but we're thinking about a half an hour or, or possibly more so it's just a wonderful collaborative event what a way to do community engagement and tell us what are the venues again run through where will these performances take place yes they will actually and uh the performances will be between 9 a.m and 4 p.m at these venues uh city arts Wichita Art Museum, Exploration Place, Sedgwick County Zoo, and Mark Arts. Eric Sati, uh, we had touched a bit about uh, upon his personality and his quirkiness. Um, yeah, can you set the stage a little bit more? He was a composer in Paris, in France. He was, yes. He was born um, in 1866. So he's um, coming out of that French Romanticism into um, Impressionism, of course. He was friends with Ravel and Debussy, so he knew all of that um, circle. Um, and of course, at this time, the whole Wagner thing took the whole world by storm. So we had several composers such as Debussy and Ravel and Satie himself who were trying to get away from the pull of the German Wagnerian style, and they really wanted to have a very French style. And so um, Satie even went, definitely went away from that, but also even away from the Impressionism of um, Debussy and Ravel into something much more simple and very different. If you look at a lot of his music, there are pieces, there are no bar lines, there are, there's no time signature, there's no key signature. Um, he puts all these different interesting um, indications like uh, play this like a nightingale with a toothache or look up, <laughs> which is kind of making fun of all of the different indications that German composers would put into to create this sense of the emotion. So he was making fun of that. And of course, this is the whole Dada um, surrealistic movement too. So a lot of this was not to make sense at all. It was to be surreal. 
And it's also deeply related to and and weaved into the fabric of fine art as well. I mean, you just imagine Sati, this character, his music. It is art of that time period. He Absolutely. is a French impressionist. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. tell us a bit about uh, the, the the program there at Friends University. We talk often with members of um, the choral program and the mm -hmm. opera program. Tell us about uh, you as a piano professor and your tenure at Friends. Well, uh, this will be my 28th year here at Friends University. I actually was a student at Friends University in the 80s and graduated from here. Um, and now I'm back. It's, it's been 28 years uh, since. And we have... Um, uh, different uh, students that are um, either piano majors or uh, people that just happen to be very good. They're, their main instrument might be another instrument, but they are really great at piano, and we offer um, lessons as well. We have um, keyboard ensemble, which people get together and play duets and, and piano trios and such. Um, of course, piano recitals. I just gave a piano recital, a faculty recital, uh, here about three or four weeks ago. And um, and then we have different um, other performances available for for pianists. So um, that's beyond the orchestra concerts, the band concerts, the choral concerts, which are, are very well known here at French University. We also have these other events for piano. And this and this particular one is going to be kind of like our crown jewel, I believe, in our in our year for piano. So I think it's just magnificent. Again, Thank if you. anybody out there is a pianist, you want to take part in Sati Day on May the 18th and sign up to play maybe 30 to 40 minutes mm -hmm. of this piece, Vexations by Eric Sati. You can go to the Friends University website. They have a website set up specifically for this event. It is friends.edu slash Sati, S-A-T-I-E. You can sign up there and you can get a PDF of, of this music and start practicing right away. Yes. Yes, and actually there's a performance by Igor Levitt um, when you sign up also if you want to hear it. It's one person playing, which is kind of an amazing thing, but you can hear a little bit of what the piece will sound like as well. So you can get a yeah. get an audio representation of it. And if you prefer to just be an audience member, you can mark your calendar to, you know, take in the art at Mark Arts, or maybe you want to go take your kids to Exploration Place so they can, you know, experience Absolutely. this as well. The date yeah. is Saturday, May the 18th. And then at night, there is a faculty recital. Yes. Uh, and they will be performing some of the more um, familiar works of the composer. Yes. Also, I'd like to mention, if there are any local businesses out there that would like to sponsor some of this, like anything that's ever done, there's always a little bit of money involved. So if if um, any local businesses would like to um, play a part in that, you can um, contact me at nightjh at friends.edu, and I'd be happy to um, work with you on that. Um, and also, if you'd like to play a part in this production, but you're not really comfortable playing the piano, we would still like to have you. We need people to draw how many performances there were of and, and, and many repetitions. We need people uh, maybe just to help out in other ways. So don't feel like if you can't play the piano, you can't be a part of it. This is, you, we also have a place for you. So, What a wonderful day of making high art. You know what you, you need? You need an umbrella manufacturer to sponsor you. I think we do. I think that would be perfect. <laughs> you can give away white umbrellas. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. <laughs> Sati Day is May the 18th, 2024. You can find more information at friends.edu slash Sati. Uh, thank you, Dr. James Knight. And um, we'll talk again about this wonderful event coming up. We'll have you on again once it's once it's closer to the day. Sounds great. Thank you. You're so welcome.